Dropping gems from Keisha Christian. She's on a mission, sharing information, knowledge for soul, body and mind. Dropping gems, KeishaGems.com. KeishaGems.com. Welcome to Dropping Gems. I'm your host and holistic health and wellness educator, Keisha Christian. First and foremost, I have to thank Tasha Simone, my clothing sponsor, for my lovely outfit. Be sure to check out her website, shoptashasimone.com, or on Instagram, at shoptashasimone, where you can get affordable fashions from formal to casual attire. Today on Dropping Gems, I will be leading you through a meditation for new, seasoned entrepreneurs and business owners. <laughs> we will also be dropping gems in the kitchen where I will be teaching you how to make a healthy snack using kale. I'm bursting with excitement as I will be interviewing my first entrepreneur under the age of 21. I decided to begin a special for young entrepreneurs under the age of 21 to spotlight these resourceful young people as they gave birth to brilliant ideas in the midst of the pandemic by using their talents and know-how. Also stay tuned for our Roku giveaway. So grab a healthy snack or beverage because we will be right back. You are watching Dropping Gems. Daily balance, peace, and protection. Release negativity, stress, and anxiety. Express your spirituality and confidence through self-dance. Dropping gems. From Keisha Christian, she's on a mission, sharing information, knowledge for soul, body and mind, dropping gems, KeishaGems.com, KeishaGems.com. This segment of Meditative Moment is sponsored by Pure Romance by Venice. Check out their truly sexy flirt line. You can place an order at pureromance.com slash Venice Richards or call 631-943-1868 to place an order. Welcome to Meditative Moment. This topic actually came up in my mind as I was doing an interview recently and the term imposter syndrome came to mind. Imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern which may affect an individual by having them doubt their skills, talents, or accomplishments and causes them fear as being exposed as a fraud. Many times we feel as though we're not good enough or we're not smart enough, but you have to understand this. If a thought or an idea has been downloaded or placed into your mind, it's for you to execute. Many of us feel as though we're not smart enough when we get an idea or we just put them to the side. To be quite transparent, I have to admit that there are many times that I feel this way despite my accomplishments or rewards that I've received. To overcome these fears, I actually say certain affirmations I repeat to myself to combat these negative thoughts that arise in my mind. Now, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're going to do this two more times, in through your nose and out through your mouth.
Last time, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Repeat after me. I am enough. Every day I'm becoming smarter. Every day I am learning new things. I was given this idea to execute because it has been never been done before. I am a solution to a problem. Now take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're gonna do that two more times. In through your nose and out through your mouth. I want you to check in with your body. How do you feel? I want you to remember that your words are powerful. And in order to have a successful business, you need to have a positive mindset. And then you will see that situations, people, places, all of that will be attracted to you. Be blessed. And stay tuned for Dropping Gems in the Kitchen coming up next. Peace and blessings to you. Venice Richards, your pure romance consultant, inspires women to enhance their intimate lives and take care of their sexual health. Book your party today. Visit pureromance.com slash Venice Richards or call 631-943-943. 1868 for more information or to place an order. Welcome to Dropping Gems, an academy for holistic studies. Learn how to treat seasonal allergies and year long allergies naturally with Keisha Christian. Her courses have helped parents, teachers, naturalists, and therapists reassess the way they handle allergy symptoms. Registration to our class is now open. Reserve your spot today. You can also become a certified holistic studies practitioner with us. Be empowered with knowledge and help us in spreading the positivity with the rest of the world. Visit www.droppinggemsacademy.com or email us at info at keishachristian.com. Today, I'll be giving you healthy snack options for you and your family using kale. Now, I have a secret I want you to keep just between you and me. I actually like potato chips and kettle cooked chips are actually my favorite. But because of this, I like to make my own kale chips as a healthy alternative. Kale is an excellent source of vitamin A and K and C, in addition to being a good source of magnesium, calcium, and potassium, just to name a few. For this recipe, you will need nutritional yeast, extra virgin olive oil, tahini, and balsamic vinaigrette. You could also use sea salt or pink Himalayan salt as an alternative or I should say as an option. Let's begin. So, one of the things I like to do, you have to make sure that you wash the kale really well and that it is dry. You don't want to use wet kale. So, one of the things I do after I wash my kale and I actually destem it, so I will take it off the stem. I basically just run it up through and take it off the stem just as so. And you could actually use the stem, some people use the stem to make broth, or um, they might put it in their smoothie. Um, I usually just compost it. So you just take off, you just take it off the stem just so, just like that. Very simple. That's how I destem it. Sometimes it doesn't always come off easily because you don't want to have the stem 
when you um, actually are going to make the kale because it's very it's tough and it's chewy and you don't want to be chewing on that so I have it here I wash it really well as I said and what I have here I, this is what I have this is my salad spinner so after I wash my kale I actually this is just an option you don't have to do this you could actually dry it off with a paper towel but you just want to make sure that your kale is as dry as possible so I use my salad spinner I put it in here and I use it to dry off my kale so now once that's done I have it in a bowl and I'm gonna add the ingredients so one of the ingredients I said was extra virgin olive oil so you want to use a really good um, pure plant-based oil so extra virgin olive oil you could use <clears throat> excuse me you could also use um, a good oil too you could use this, um, grapeseed oil or even um, avocado oil so I'm gonna pour that in and a little goes a long way so what I just used here was about a tablespoon I'm gonna add in my um, balsamic vinaigrette and the same thing here too this is about um, two tablespoons I have two tablespoons about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast nutritional yeast is high in um, vitamin B so if you want to get your um, your B complex in this is a good natural way of getting that in through your um, nutritional yeast and also too if you like that cheesy flavor nutritional yeast will give your chips that cheesy flavor um, what I have here is tahini and tahini is actually made from is made from sesame seeds so if you want to get a good source of zinc you could uh, add tahini this is actually an acquired taste not everyone might like the taste but I find I like these flavors together the tahini with the balsamic vinaigrette and olive oil I actually like those flavors together and uh, what I have here is some pink Him Himalayan sea salt so you could put about um, a teaspoon of um, salt in there and that's what I have in here and what I do now is I massage it so I just take it and I massage my kale really well really getting in there mixing all the ingredients together and actually what I have done too with this, I've actually made a salad with this. So not just making chips, but you could actually make a salad with this. So for me, I have actually added some tomatoes one time to it. And I've even put some um, sunflower seeds in here. And I ate it as a salad. And it was quite good. It's quite delicious. All right, so... And the reason why we're massaging the kale because you want to break down the cell walls and you know kale um, is actually is tough it's kind of tough so by massaging it in and massaging all the ingredients in that I just put in here it actually helps for you to digest it much better so just gonna massage it in you see how that came down so much I had a whole bowl full massage it really well And that's that so at this point what you could do you could actually put this on a baking sheet and put it in your oven and you would set oven to the lowest temperature you set it to 170 or you could actually put this in a dehydrator and I'm um, dehydrated my dehydrator if you have seen a past episode where I actually showed you how to make fruit leather I put my dehydrator to 135 that's the temperature I use and I let it um, dehydrate for about four hours after four hours it's pretty much done and I'm gonna show you what the chips look like once they're done so I take this I put it in my dehydrator for about four hours and I'll share again the type of dehydrator I use this is my dehydrator that I use um, it's a Nesco food and jerky dehydrator so if you want to um, 
purchase this. This is pretty inexpensive. You could definitely check this out. And I love this. Use it quite frequently. And here are my kale chips. My kale chips, all dehydrated. I did, I did some earlier. Mmm. I have to tell you, I wish I could share. It's such a healthy alternative to me just eating potato chips. So when I get the craving for potato chips, instead of getting some potato chips, I actually will buy some kale and make myself some kale chips. And that's it. Pretty simple recipe. Thank you for watching this segment of Drop In Gems. We'll be back. We are having a giveaway. We are giving away a Roku Premiere valued at $50. You could watch live TV or do HDR streaming. Most importantly, you can catch past and present episodes of Dropping Gems. In order to win this Roku Premiere, all you have to do is tag me on Instagram at Dropping Gems with a Z and use the hashtag Meditative Moment Challenge. You could share your favorite quote, inspirational picture, or your favorite meditative pose. The winner will be selected this fall. Bedroom Candy by Tanya provides self-love and self-care products that assist with pampering yourself or improving your relationship with your significant other. You can reach Tanya at 917-943-4127. Or visit www.bedroomcandy.com slash 13167 to place an order. For inquiries, for sponsorship, or advertising on this program, email info at heshachristian.com for more information. Dropping Gems is a proud partner of Rude Rangers Entertainment. We can be found on Roku, Alexa, or you can download the app on your iOS or Android devices. Welcome back. As I mentioned earlier in the program, I'll be spotlighting entrepreneurs under the age of 21. On today's episode, I have 13-year-old Hallie Moon, who resides in North Carolina with her dad and her dog, Oreo. She is a precocious middle schooler and author of The Rules of a Big Boss, a book of self-love. Within this book, she goes through her personal journey of dealing with depression, anxiety, and betrayal. Haley found her lioness within and rose up instead. Welcome, Haley, to the show. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much, Haley, for coming on the show today. I'm so excited to have you. She's one of our entrepreneurs under the age of 20. Hallie is an author, she's an entrepreneur, and I have to say I am so honored and I feel so blessed to have her on my show today. I must say, although for your age, I really do look up to you and, I, and I'm so proud of all the things that you are doing. Um, the fact that you are an entrepreneur and an author at age 12, I think is phenomenal. And I have to say thank you so much for coming on and um, sharing with my audience today. She's the author of the book, The Big, The Rules of a Big Boss. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little about her book um, and other things that she's doing within her company. Thank you, Hallie, for coming on the show. You're welcome. Glad to be on here. So I want to know what inspired you to actually write a book? Um, I've always wanted to write a book, but I didn't really know what to write about. And I know that I've struggled with my self-esteem in the past. 
And since we've been quarantined and it was summertime, there was nothing else to do. I was bored. And I decided to finally write about it. And I was like, hey, why don't I write something that will help people with their self-esteem? Because I know this is something that I wish that I had. So why not share it with other people? Cool. I like that. I like that. So instead of just um, sitting around playing video games or talking on the phone, you know, because I'm thinking about things I did when I was 12, you actually decided to write a book. Very impressive. Thank so you. What made you decide on that title, The Rules of a Big Boss? And what does that mean to you? Um, as far as the title goes, um, I was honestly, I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw something that said like Big Boss and I was like, what's that? And I was on somebody's live when I heard this because that's what she had called herself and I was like, huh, that would be a really good title for a book. So that is what made me write that out. And as far as the rules goes, like that actual part, um, I had inspired the book off of um, Amber Rose's book, um, her book about self-love. So that's where I had gotten that part from. And I just put them together. And that's how I got the title. And what it means to me is basically just being yourself and being the best person that you can be. Oh, I like that. So it's like you're you're taking control of your life. Yes. And not letting other people define who you are, in a sense. Yeah, because at the end of the day, nobody knows you like you would know yourself. Oh, I like that. And then you actually are a boss because you have your own company, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> so not only that, not only you writing this book and um, using um, what was around you to create what you have now, you took that and now you are expanding into other things, which I think is great. And this came all out of the pandemic. So... This is really, that's, a, that's really um, admirable. So I want to know, do you want to take this book now and make it a part of a series? Like, what do you plan on doing with this book? I do plan to make it a series. Um, this one was just about, like, the basics. The basic stuff that you need for your basic self-care and... The next one will most likely be more being deeper into more of emotional and mental health and um, possibly like psychology because that also has a part to play in how you react to other people and how you can see how other people react to you. Because something that I wrote in the book is saying when you are know when you're not wanted. So that has to do with psychology. Um, you can just tell in a person's body language when you're not wanted there or when they don't like you. So I think that's important and that's probably something I'm going to put in the book. Okay. So you're, you're um, really going into nonverbal and verbal cues from other people. So seeing, um, yes. I know like I'm growing up and you, you think about prayer pressure and wanting to be a part of a group, you know, really understanding what groups or what group of people you should be attracting to yourself and knowing when that group is not the group for you, so to speak. I don't know if that's the the way you want to go in your book. Yeah, a little bit of both, maybe. Okay. Will you also be talking about peer pressure? Yes, that's a possibility. <laughs> it's a possibility. Did you start writing this book or it's just um, like you have an outline or you just have some ideas? It's just some ideas that I'm gathering um, from stuff that's going on in my life right now, what's going to continue to go on. So I'm just gathering those ideas and gathering that information. Oh, that's nice. And the fact that you want to even add the mental health component, because um, sometimes we don't think about um, what um, children are going through 
or even um, adolescents are going through as far as um, mental health, especially during this time, because they're being affected by this pandemic too. You know, not being able to go out, not being able to interact with your friends the way you would like to. So all of those um, do impact us, especially um, those who are coming of age. So it's really, that's, um, I have to say, that's really very smart of you to um, include that in the book. And you're talking about it from your experience and from your vantage point or your viewpoint. And you're able to help then other young people understand and um, deal with their feelings. Because, it, you know, in the, in the, in the case, um, it's all right to have these emotions, but knowing what to do with them is um, very important as well. Yes. Yeah. So will you be consulting with um, anyone as far as um, any mental health professionals or anything like that, or even um, getting resources from um, those professionals? Yes, that that's something that I definitely should do because, you know, I'm not experienced in that. Um, I can only say what worked for me, but um, sharing other people's research and talking to other people about it that are actually experienced would definitely be more effective. Yeah, so definitely. Yeah, because that's what I'm thinking. I, that, that book is going to be powerful. Definitely. I could definitely see that. That book is going to be quite powerful. So I want to know, as far as your company goes, I know you have a book. And you shared, you sent me a lovely mug. Thank you so much. I'll be drinking my herbal tea. You're welcome. <laughs> my herbal tea and my lemon water. <laughs> so as far as um, your company, I know you also, you have your book. You're also an author, but you also have other things that you, um, you sell in your, um, at your company as well. So what are some of the things that you actually sell? I sell accessories such as um, canvases with the logo on it. Mm -hmm. um, I sell jackets, joggers, I think that's what it's called, leggings, um, sweatshirts, hoodies, tote bags, mugs <laughs> like you already have. Um, and that's all. <laughs> Yes, and I noticed that you had a t-shirt as well. So you have the t-shirts that you sell as well. That's cool. That's nice. I like how you like you really branched out. So you looked at you decided to create. You decided to um, write this book during the pandemic, and then from there you branched out and wanted to have apparel as well, which is really good. That was very smart. You're creating multiple streams of income. Very smart. But what, um, what made you decide to even do clothing? Um, I've always loved fashion and things that re relates to that. That's like something that's almost a part of my personality because it's something that you can express yourself with. So I'm like obsessed with anything that has to do with clothes, jewelry, hair, things like that. And it does. You could watch the extended version of this interview on my YouTube channel at www.droppinggems.com. That's Dropping Gems with a Z. I would like to thank our guest, Haley Moon. I feel honored to have shared space with you today, Haley. Thank you so much for coming on. She has a bright future ahead of her. And I would like to thank you, my viewing audience, so much for watching this episode of Dropping Gems. Holistic health and much abundance to you. See you next week. Peace and blessings to you. Dropping Gems from Keisha Christian. Keisha Gems.com